Hello everyone, welcome to Adora Perfect Pups and today is another litter announcement. So we had um, litters back-to-back uh, -back, uh, days. Mm -hmm. um, so this is Sedona and Ezra. Mm -hmm. It's litter. This is Sedona we have with us. And this is an F1 Cavapoo litter and we have two in this litter. So this is a male and then we have a little female down here too. So um, just wanted to introduce them. First, we'll start with the male. He is, um, again, this is a beautiful litter. Uh -huh. um, if you're looking for a Cavapoo, that's, um, you know, this is, this is, you know, to me, this is the best mark markings uh, that we've had in a litter for a while. Um, mm -hmm. and, that, and you'll get that a little bit more with the F1s because of the, the white spotting gene mm -hmm. with, the, um, with the regular, or purebred Cavaliers. Mm -hmm. And then when you mix that with the Poodle, um, you get more of that white markings. But this little guy is a male. And he is a chunk. <laughs> He's got a big round belly um, compared to his sister. Um, but these guys will be a little bit smaller, like the last litter with um, Kalahari. Mm -hmm. um, they should only be about, um, yeah, like 12 to 14, 15 pounds. Um, she's a smaller, she's even smaller than Kalahari. She is. Um, so mm -hmm. um, just a little bit more petite. Um, but um, yeah. So they are nine days old. They were born on June 17th. Mm -hmm. So that's the male. <laughs> and then this is the female. She's gonna help us today. <laughs> and they have the beautiful white markings on the chest, on the head, just like the male had. So I'll kind of hold them together there. But just a very male, sweet. Male, female, mm -hmm. right? Yep. yep. Very sweet litter. So Angie, I'll let you maybe talk a little bit more yep. about her and um, yeah, she's some a of the very, program that we have going on here. For sure. She's, um, like you said, very petite. Um, She's a tinier little girl. She's very, very aware. They're very clean. Yep, too. they're very clean. She just has two, so they're doing excellent. <laughs> They've got the milk bar is always open and it's always available, right? If there's not enough on one, you move to the next. But she's um, very alert, uh, very tender as well. Uh, just a loving, loving, loving female. She's got a little bit more. We had just done a video with Kalahari and I mm -hmm. noticed like she's just a little bit more alert, a little bit more, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more energy. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, maybe a little both. more protective. Sure. Maybe. Yeah. You can even see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But she's not. She's not, very sweet. Yeah. She's, it's not anything <laughs> alarming. <laughs> and uh, and sweet. one thing to note is that females that are whelping um, temperament, what in this environment is not, um, transferable to them mm -hmm. as adult. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you raise puppies, you're Working. always aware, yeah, aware of the mother and her nature and her body language and making sure that she's comfortable and not stressed and mm -hmm. that we don't stress her out because some are very, very protective and that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We give them their space when they need it. Generally the first two to three weeks is when they, we see most of that and then mm -hmm. they relax after that a little bit sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the puppies are going through our program. They are on day nine. Um, that means they're getting their early, early neurological stimulation where we do the puppy held upright for five seconds. And then you, you can demonstrate. Yeah, and I'll just so talk through them, it. Hold them with their butt down. Yep. Go yeah, and then we get the down. blood flow changing in the body. About five seconds, right? Five seconds, yep. On and the back. On the back. On the back. Woo, look at you showing up. <laughs> And then we, the yeah, right <laughs> stimulate the paws, stimulate yeah. their little paws. Yep, and then onto a cold rag, which we don't have, but onto a cold surface. So mm -hmm. that's a texture. Generally, they will, because um, we are working through that sense, uh, one, you know, the five senses sense that we have, the sense of feel, yep. Touch, and right. they will start to like almost dance on that cold surface, which mm -hmm. is interesting. They don't like it. Yeah. It's only five seconds. Yeah. And then we do their scent. Today is tennis ball. So we hold them, allow the head to drop. Whoop, yep, see, you can see it moving down in. Pulled away. Um, this is a very strong one. Mm -hmm. It's probably a little too much chemical, honestly. <laughs> but um, five seconds if they like it, uh, or if they, five seconds if they don't like it, 30 seconds if see they if do. This guy likes yeah, it. do you like it? They usually find it very interesting, and then it's. Um, He's definitely holding that one. There it is, it's yeah. Like once they get that full scent in there. <laughs> It's like, that's enough. This is a strong one. Some of the ones like lemongrass and black tea, uh, they enjoy a little bit more cinnamon they love usually. Mm -hmm. You wanna smell? This is cinnamon. 
Um, sometimes as we get older, closer to 16 days, they went, may even lick. Okay. Or you can hear them like start to like move their mouth. Sorry, it's like, yeah, yeah like they're, it's activating yeah, something. Likes that one better. Yeah, yeah. The little eyes are starting to blink too, even though they're still closed. You can hear them sniffing. Yeah, I wonder mm -hmm. if the mic can pick that up. So you can feel the change in your hand when you're doing it. Yeah, very pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> so only one cent per day. Mm, that smells good. One cent per day um, up till day 16. And then they go to a little rest period. Oh, look at her, sweetheart. <laughs> Got them all under your arm, yeah. yeah she's sweet. Yeah. Go to a little bit of a rest period until week three. Then we start our sound therapy. And that's when we start our puppy handling as well. <laughs> so the beauty of our program with this type of, um, starting at day three is that we are touching them. So they're getting used to touch, minimal touch though, right? Mm -hmm. But we are also touching them to also look for health mm -hmm. um, things, making sure that they are clean, making sure all of the things are developing like they they're should getting be. Weighed they're everything. getting weighed, yep. And then fingernails are getting clipped and all of this stuff that's, um, it just sets our puppies up for a great foundation. Mm -hmm. And we have an extended trainer that does some advanced training um, from eight weeks on, and she tells us what a difference it makes. So that's, mm -hmm. she loves to train our puppies. Yeah, so that's great for our families too that don't do those kind of trainings. That means it's a little bit easier for them. She's always excited when I call her I know. until I got a family coming. Oh, I love Angie's puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, so. well, we'll keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Helps to have good mamas too. It does, yeah. Genetics are a big piece of it. Yeah, so it's sure. a good piece. For sure. But yeah, so yeah, this won't be a super long video since we only had two, um, I, and I showed those both off. Oh, I'm gonna disturb you, you just a little bit. Yeah, my foot. And then we'll put you back. So again, we have the male here. He's a little bit bigger, and we have the female here. And we're gonna do updates of these again. Um, you know, in a couple weeks, we try to at least on Instagram, we'll be posting every couple weeks, um, and then about five to six weeks, we'll do individual pictures. Um, but if there is anybody that would like to talk about, you know, reserving one of these that is available, um, our website is adoraperfectpups.com. You can reach out to me personally. Um, and if um, needed, I can also include Angie in the conversation as well. But um, you usually stay pretty busy with um, taking care of these little ones. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, if, if, if you're needed, you're always there for I me. Am. Though, so I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But um, We but, make yeah. a great team. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh. yeah, thanks for watching, and if we're lucky, we'll see you in the next one.